The Tabas is a recent Iranian air defense missile system. It is an improved and more capable version of the Rod, equipped with mechanical radar. Its name refers to the Desert of Tabas incident in 1980. This Iranian system strongly resembles and is similar in function to a Soviet book that was adopted back in the 1980. Most likely that this air defense system was developed with Russian assistance. It was officially displayed in 2014 and was deployed during the same year. It is in service with Iranian military. This system uses Tayr-1 and Tayr-2 missiles that have a maximum range of up to 75 kilometers and can reach targets at an altitude of 25 kilometers. This air defense system can engage aircraft and helicopters. Most likely that Tabas can also engage ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, anti-radiation missiles, smart bombs and unmanned aerial vehicles. A battery contains one transporter erector launcher and radar teller, and two transporter erector launcher tell, vehicles. These are based on a heavily modified Iveco 6x6 commercial truck chassis. Each vehicle carrier three missiles. So a single battery has nine ready-to-fire missiles. A battalion has four batteries with four tellers and eight tells and can engage multiple targets simultaneously. Each battalion additionally includes a Bashir S-Band 3D phased array surveillance radar which has a detection range of 350 kilometers. The battalion also has a command and control C2 unit based on Iveco truck chassis. The C2 unit provides communication between Tabas batteries. Furthermore, the C2 unit can connect other air defense systems of the ROD family, including the older ROD and further improved 7 Cordet, into a single air defense network. This allows to cover large area and targets can be engaged with a wide range of missiles from the cheapest Tayr-1 missiles to the most capable Tayr-2s. This adds the capability of facing different types of threats with different types of interceptors. In case of heavy jamming when even the X-band engagement radar can't handle its duty, the C2 unit can provide an additional data link, connecting the system to electro-optical engagement systems of rod batteries in order to guide missiles toward targets.